What makes a good idea? The answer, market size and need. Two very important terms you need to understand, market size and need. The best way I can explain this is by telling the story about teddy bears. When I was making teddy bears in Vermont and selling them from my cart, my market size was the number of people who walked past my cart each day in Burlington, divided by the number of businesses that people could buy anything from. In other words, the market size was very small. The need was even smaller. People just don't get up in the day and think they need to get a new teddy bear that day. Result, my sales from the cart was very small. I tried to increase my market size by selling my bears in gift stores, first in Vermont and then throughout New England. The market size got bigger, but the need still never was that large. The total market size of stuffed animal sales in the U.S. when I was making stuffed animals, bears, was about 400 million. And keep in mind, that included all stuffed animals like rabbits and frogs. My idea to sell teddy bears was not a good idea because the market size is really small. I falsely thought I could increase the market size because my bears were so much better than everybody else's. My company took off when I changed the market I was going after from people who wanted to buy a teddy bear to people who needed to buy gifts. The need for gifts is huge. I called my teddy bear a bear gram and I concentrated on men who needed to buy gifts for Valentine's Day and Mother's Day. Gifts. People, especially men, who in general are not great gift givers, need to buy gifts for mothers, sisters, lovers, and kids. This idea proved to be a huge success. The gift market is huge. Gift card sales alone last year were over $100 billion. The need for gifts is a growing market. Both need and market size are growing. If you want to learn how to find the market size of a particular market, um, look for that in another course. The important message here in this lesson is, when looking for a good idea, look first to fill a need, then figure the market size and study the competition. That's all for now. See you in the next lesson.